I'm Josie from Evenfields and I'm here today with Jason Reed, owner of Tyler's Kitchen in Erdington, Birmingham. Tell us a bit about the business. Okay, Tyler's Kitchen is a, a small independent restaurant takeaway located in Erdington. Uh, we offer a selection of one pot dishes from around the world. Uh, we do gourmet burgers, make our own desserts, uh, everything's cooked fresh to order. Everything's cooked from scratch to authentic recipes and yeah, that's awesome. So, firstly, how are you? How have you been? And can you tell us a bit about yourself and about your business? Um, well, I'm fine. Uh, we've been fine. Um, we've been open almost three and a half years. Um, I'm originally a chef. I trained at college when I was 16 to 18. Went into the industry, became a chef at a fairly young age. Worked in various places, various different types of food, and worked abroad a couple of times. Uh, drifted into teaching people. Uh, started teaching at my old secondary school, which is Aston Manor. Um, from there, became a qualified uh, assessor and became a chef, chef lecturer. Uh, went to teach in um, uh, Malaysia for three months, came back, continued to lecture, um, then got a little bit uh, bored really with teaching every day and my original passion is cooking and as I was not unfortunately getting any younger, I realised that this is the time to, if I want to do my own thing, now is the time, so start lecturing and open my own business, start this kitchen. So how do you feel that the pandemic has affected you? Um, I would say in a strange way overall in a positive way. Um, because for the first pandemic, uh, a lot of the major businesses such as McDonald's and Landlords were closed. And their customers had to go and find alternatives. And they would have went to a lot of small independent places such as ourselves. So for the third pandemic, it was actually the first part of the pandemic. It was actually really quite busy. Uh, the second lockdown um, affected us more in a negative way, just because I think people were a bit tired of it and the other major businesses were open. So we saw business drop off a little bit. Um, I think what the government did with the grants and uh, support for businesses was a good thing. Um, but it is what most countries in Europe did do as well. Um, so, in general, it was okay. I would say now, now it's finished, more or less, over the last few months. I feel like we're almost starting again as, as a new business. We've got a bit of an advantage that People know about us more, but um, yeah, effectively, we're starting again. So specifically, as a black person today, how have you found it running your own business? Uh, I think it's good to establish uh, another another black business within the um, within the local area. Uh, it helps to promote black businesses, and it's also Hopefully another, another role model for people of any colour and especially black people to realise that you know they can do that. Uh, I think only a small independent business is always going to be very hard. Uh, you have less opportunity to get things wrong, you have to get things right every time. Perhaps say unlike large corporate businesses which I feel do make mistakes more customers will go back to them, give them repeat business more than they would a small independent company. Um, and as a young black person or black person, you should follow your dream if it's your dream to so own your own business, not let society place uh, restrictions on you to tell you what you can and can't do uh, if it's your dream to do something. Follow your dream, know it's going to be hard, but with hard work, you can achieve whatever you, whatever you want to. 
If you were to go back, knowing what you know now, would you choose teaching or your business? Personally, I would choose my business. Uh, teaching is a uh, rewarding uh, uh, job for the right person. Uh, I'm personally very much a person that if I feel I've achieved all I can and learnt all I can from a subject or area, uh, I like to find a new, a new challenge. Uh, I've done all types of teaching, I've done assessing, uh, lecturing, free classes, practical classes, sort of secondary school, children from disadvantaged backgrounds, uh, young, young adults and so on and so on. Um, within the business side of things now, uh, there's lots of new challenges uh, that we haven't faced yet and lots of goals, new goals that I'd like to achieve by like opening uh, a couple of more tireless kitchens uh, and yeah. So I will definitely stick with only my own business and that's the advice I would give to anybody who is on and on about staying in their own, staying in a set career or branching up for themselves. So where do you see the future of Tyler's Kitchen? What are your business goals over the next few years? Um, ideally, the goals would be to develop a small chain, to open another three or four Thailand's kitchens in uh, various places around around Birmingham. I did in malls in the town, malls in establish us as as a chain. Uh, we offer, I feel, a unique menu. We've got dishes from various parts of of the world. I don't class us as a Caribbean, a Caribbean restaurant. Uh, I class us as a world food um, eating place. Um, and the menu uh, reflects that. We offer five or six different genres of food. You can get burgers, you can get homemade desserts. Um, and I feel that really no one is doing that. So yeah, just to take it to a wider audience, grow the business and uh, establish it more. Thank you very much, Jason, for having us pop down to Tyler's Kitchen to try it out for yourself. It's been a pleasure. Great to meet you and hopefully see you soon.